Hello, this is Hugo Forster from Trenchless Pipelining. We are on a job site where we are relining 3,000 feet of vertical condominium pipes. These are the sewer pipes and the uh, stacks, the vent stacks, and also the rain drains of these high-rise buildings. This building is about 160 feet tall, and we're doing all the work from the roof and underneath the building so that all the uh, tenants do not have to be inconvenienced. As you can see, this the whole building is adorned in marble, beautiful frescoes, and nobody would want to tear up these walls and floors to replace these cast iron pipes because they're rusting and leaking into the building. So we are relining these pipes with a 50-year warranty, 100-year engineered life pipelining material. And I want to tell you how it works. Here is a, here is a sample of what pipelining looks like before we install it. It's essentially a, a fiberglass woven material uh, that is installed inside your pipe once it's been saturated with a fiberglass resin. Um, and it's not the sticky kind of fiberglass resin, it's 100% epoxy resin. It's completely safe for potable consumption, for example, and it has no odor, and it's extremely strong. And the end result looks something like this. This is a PVC pipe that we install the pipe lining in. And as you can see, it's extremely smooth. And this sample we specifically cut up because some people ask about, well, what happens to the edges of the pipe lining where the pipe lining stops? Doesn't that catch, catch debris? And what I have for you here is a, a close-up of where the pipe lining ended. You can see there's a slight ridge over here. That's where the lining ended. And when you inflate this lining inside the pipe to make it harden for three hours, a little bit of the resin actually squeezes out at the end of the lining and makes a beautiful ramp that's extremely slippery and smooth, so no debris can get caught on that. And this material is extremely strong. Let me give you an example of how strong this is. If you look over here, I have a, another piece of this lining right here, and people often wonder, well, how strong is this lining? So I'm going to take this hammer and beat on this So as you can see, it's not really a coating, it's a physical new pipe. It only takes three hours to harden inside the, the old pipe, and uh, we can make it skip over the pipe connections, where the, where the other pipes connect into your uh, rusted pipe. We can make this lining start and stop just before and after those connections, so that um, and no, none of the pipe connections are obscured. Um, so essentially, the way the stuff is installed uh, is like this. We, we mix up the epoxy resin, we saturate this white lining with the epoxy resin, we pull the whole lining into position inside the vertical pipes, and then we inflate this rubber bladder. There's a rubber bladder inside, and it inflates and holds this lining against the wall of the pipe for three hours. After three hours, the, the, the bladder and its protective covering come out, and this lining stays inside your wall. 100 year engineered life, and it should be able to withstand all sorts of uh, structural stresses. Uh, it's designed to go underneath roads and, and uh, walkways. So it is a real new physical pipe. And one more thing. Did you notice that the pipe diameter didn't get reduced by very much? The pipe diameter is actually reduced by 5%. So flow is not affected by the pipelining. So I hope I've answered all your questions for you. And uh, thank you for watching our video.